Hello everybody and welcome back to Living in El Paso, Texas. My name is Alejandro Sosa here with Peña El Paso Realty Group. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the state of the real estate market here in El Paso and what it means for buyers and for sellers. One of the reasons why John and I created this YouTube channel was to provide you with some value. One way we do that is to be completely honest. So first we're gonna talk about buyers. Buyers are, are in something we're calling buyer strike. What does that mean? It just basically means there's just not a lot of buyers right now. Uh, and why is that the case? Uh, many different factors. One is gonna be prices of homes are just as high as they've ever been right now. Uh, you know, everything has just been going up in price. Houses is not, is not anything different. Another thing is the interest. Uh, the interest rates are just very, very high. Uh, nobody knows what's gonna happen. A lot of people are saying they might come down, but nobody knows. Interest rates are just not where they need to be. Uh, also, property taxes. A lot of people, especially in El Paso, Texas, they complain about property taxes. Property taxes are also very, very high. So a lot of these buyers are just not out there. There. a lot of buyers cannot even qualify for homes right now so what we've noticed is a lot of buyers what they're doing right now is looking at the possibility or renting either renting a, a, a single-family home and sometimes we've been seeing a lot of people that just rent apartments right now just to see how things are gonna are gonna play out but definitely uh, we call it buyer strike because there's just again not a lot of buyers right now now we're gonna talk about sellers so sellers are in a very similar situation we call it golden handcuffs basically what it is a lot of these buyers let's say during covid uh, they bought properties for probably between two to four percent interest rate right so now interest rate being close to seven or eight percent a lot of these sellers it just doesn't make any sense for them to sell their property buy another one and have to take an interest rate of two three times higher than what it is so it just doesn't make any sense for sellers right now unless they have to to sell their property and we see that a lot uh, there's just not a lot of buyers even looking at the houses but even the houses right now for sale there's just taking a lot longer to sell uh, not only because the interest rate the time of the year but like I said there's just not a lot of buyers so we see that again with sellers it's just not a lot of movement unfortunately because of all those reasons and again not a lot of people want to uh, you know take that jump from paying you know three percent interest rate to all the way to seven so it's definitely uh, pretty stagnant at the moment the one thing I want to warn you about is what we call the real estate. Right now, a lot of agents and lenders are going to tell you it's a really good time to buy a house. Uh, I just don't think that is the case. A lot of agents say that the prices are going to go up. I don't think that's going to be the case. And a lot of lenders are telling you that you'll be fine. You just refinance later. I just want to tell you, be careful with that. Uh, I really appreciate everybody's time. If you like the content that we provide in here, please consider subscribing to our channel. What do you guys think is going to happen? Do you think that the market is going to change? Do you think it's a good time for buyers for sellers please let us know down in the comments we really appreciate your time and we hope we see you in the next episode